Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to take what looks like a random bunch of rigid body objects like spheres and make them go through this kind of lattice structure and just kind of sort themselves out into their colors. Now there's something about this that is super satisfying and it's a lot easier to do than you think. So keep watching the tutorial and I'll show you step by step how to do something really fun with Blender's rigid body system. And even if you're a beginner, this is still relatively simple. So don't be too intimidated by watching this tutorial. Let's jump in and I hope you learned something. Let's go and start by going to our front of graphic view and we'll start with our default cube. We're gonna tab into edit mode. And then we're gonna go S, X, four and scale it four times along the X. And then let's press free on our number pad to go into the right orthographic and then go S, Y and flatten it a bit. And let's go G, Z and move it up. Until it's kind of sitting on the floor. And then back in the front view, let's just select the top face and let's go G, Z, five and hit enter. So G, Z, five. And now we've got something that looks like this. So let's go ahead now, shift A, we're still in edit mode. Let's get a cylinder. Let's go S, Z and scale it up about this much. And then let's go and select this face at the top and then go control B or command B to create a bevel. Then roll the middle mouse button just to create some segments and then click. Now we have this guy over here. So with it still active, go control L. It'll just select the whole mesh and then go to your right orthographic view and then type in RX90 while you're in your right orthographic and press enter. And then go S to scale this down about this much and then go G to move it forward. So something about this size and what we wanna do, maybe scale it just a little bit bigger. We wanna come about here, not too low, but about over here. And then we're gonna go Shift D and then press X and just move it over about this much. Left click and then let's go Shift R to repeat that action about this many times. And then let's click and drag to select all of these guys here. In fact, I'm gonna go into my right orthographic, just to select them like this in wireframe, press Control L to make them active. And then let's go Shift D to duplicate them and move them over a little bit like so. And then let's grab this one on the end and go X and delete those verts. And then we're just gonna go ahead into our right orthographic, grab all of these, Control L. And then in our front view, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and Z. And let's move it up to kind of match and then go shift R to repeat that action. And uh, yeah, you can kind of just, you know, bring it down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but just kind of like this sort of peg arrangement like this. And then we're gonna go um, shift A, let's just add in another cube, S, Z to flatten it. Let's go into a right of graphic view and go G, move it forward a bit. And I might just grab this face and go G, Y, bring it about here and then grab this guy, bring it up like so. Just so we have kind of like this divider in the middle. Then we're gonna take that guy and go Shift D, X, let's move one over here. Shift D, X, and let's move one over here. So now we have these three dividers, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tab back out. Let's go Shift A, let's add in another cube. But this time we're gonna to go to our properties. Let's go to the viewport display, go to the display as and make it wire. And let's also go to the render here and just turn it off for the render. And then we're gonna to go to our right orthographic, tab into edit mode and then just go G and in edit mode, move it up to here. S, Y, flatten it a bit, just to kind of enclose this domain. And then we're just gonna go S, X in the front, like so. And then let's just grab this face and go G, Z, move it up to the top, like so. And then we're gonna go in here in the middle, control R, roll the middle mouse button once, double click. Go to the face select and then just select this top face and go E to extrude and Z, move it up like so and then go S to scale it nice and big and then go X and delete those faces or just the face at the top. So now we have this domain. Tab back out and now we have things ready to go. So now we're gonna add in our spheres. So in object mode, we're gonna go Shift A, add in a UV sphere, G, Z, move it up and then S to scale it down and we actually wanna scale it down enough so it can kind of fit through these gaps over here. So about this big would be fine. And then we're gonna go Shift A with it selected and go and apply the scale. Right click and go Shade Smooth. And while we have it active, let's press M, create a new collection, just call it Balls. Go OK. So now when we duplicate this, they'll all duplicate onto that collection. So let's, before we duplicate it, just go over to our physics. Let's go to Rigid Body. Make sure it's active, but under the shape, make it sphere. Then go Shift D X, Shift R to repeat that action. Let's make about this many. And then let's go Shift D Z, move it up a bit. 
And let's go Shift R to repeat that action up to here, like so. Then let's go into our right view and I'm just gonna hide the first collection so it's not in the way. Grab these guys and go Shift D X and move it, or Y, Shift D Y and move it over like so. Grab these, all of these and go Shift D Y again. Then I'll bring that other collection back and just make sure they're all sitting inside of here like so. And then we're gonna select this domain. We're gonna give that a rigid body. We're gonna make it passive. And the shape we're gonna make mesh. And then let's grab the inside um, thing here, right click and go shade auto smooth. Rigid body and let's go ahead, make it passive. And once again, we're also gonna make that mesh. Now we're gonna come here to our end frame value. Let's make the 150 frames. And now if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, we're gonna see the simulation here. Okay, so it looks like in this case, 150 is enough. So let's make it 250 frames. And if it's just not quite right, what you can do is just select all of these spheres, tab into edit mode, and with the um, individual origin selected, just go S and just scale them all down ever so slightly, tab back out, and then go from frame one again and hit the space bar. And in some areas where it's getting blocked up, the way you can fix that is just by coming into edit mode and just selecting these bottom guys here and just flattening them a little bit, bringing them down. And let's try that again. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to our scene properties, go to rigid body world and we're just gonna to go to the cache and let's bake this into our blend file. And now it's all baked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the very end frame, frame 250. We're gonna hide everything else. We only see our spheres. And then we're gonna grab some of these over here, holding and shift, just select one of them. Go to the materials, let's click new. And let's just go to the viewport display and for now give it yellow. Control L and let's link those materials. Then let's maybe grab these guys over here. Select one of them by holding in shift, control L. Go create a new material under the viewport display. Let's make it blue. Control L and let's link those materials. And let's grab all of these guys, holding in shift, select one of them, new material. Maybe let's make it red, control L and let's link those materials. And let's maybe grab this one, hold in shift, select one, new. Let's maybe make it green, control L and link those materials. And now we've got this. So the cool thing is if we now bring back our scene, let's just go over here to hide the overlays. Let's go to frame one and let's now go ahead and hit our space bar. And now we have the seemingly random assortment of spheres that just so happen to arrange themselves perfectly into the right color groups. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you next time for another tutorial.